it's Tom's raw milk machine. You put your bottle in, put your pound in, put your two pound, press the button, get your milk. So how old is it then? Uh, like 12 yeah, hours, 24 yeah, hours. Like, yeah. And, oh, the mum is wild, it's the wildest one. <laughs> and like, I'm so <laughs> nervous Close. about tagging it up. <laughs> You have to get it in your new crush and grapple it. Oh. No, it's not the car. It's not the cow. It's tagging the car for, but the cow will get you. So is that its mum it's with now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meow. Looks nasty, doesn't it? Huge. Meow. It's not fitted any widescreen. <laughs> so this elephant. You had three wheat to mix, give it a bit more weight. What happened here, Tom? <laughs> don't don't talk about it. Yeah, so what what's in here then? About five hundred ton? Six hundred ton? Six hundred ton of grass. Right. 90 acres in here. Big crop. Look how firm it goes, isn't it? Ooh, that was close there. Look at this beasty thing made of train wheels. Do you know how heavy it is? Heavy. That's for compacting the grass. Will it not fit on the Hurleyman? Does it not fit on the Hurleyman? I don't think so. It's, I don't know. I don't know how heavy it is. Like unreal. It's just solid, isn't it? So when Peter rolled, he said to take the front weight off, get too much weight on the front. Yeah. And then this was just. I'm thinking about taking a wheel off. It's just too heavy. I suppose it's a balance between being heavy but then being wide and carrying. Well, no, I suppose every weight, everyone's a bit of weight in it. So Tom's picking a fast track up, and uh, this this light's just mysteriously come loose. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's funny because it's not at the back of the trailer, but you will see it's so tight. This tractor's so big. To be fair, I've had the best time ever, but it's just so long, and the Richard Westons whip, whip out. That's what the contract's saying. That's what I'm going with. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, if you want to see how tight the gateway was, Tom had to use his drone to get out of it. So if you watch his <laughs> so that, video on yeah, Friday. So it's actually going to be a two-part sneak preview. Um, so it might be the second one because the second day was just, this is what happened on day two. So it might be Sundays then? Yeah, Sunday or Tuesday, something like It's going to yeah. be out, but yeah, it was just unreal. And I'm sorry, Ollie. So for Tom's Fast Track Adventures, tune into his channel. I had Big a great word. time at a proper party, but it was just, oh, yeah. Awesome. He'd never win on the fast from the farmer. <laughs> no, like <laughs> points will be deducted from the overall score. Yes, I'm taking the account myself. I'm sorry. There we go. <laughs> right, thanks, Tom, and I'll see you later. Cheers, guys. Thanks for the footage yesterday as well. Oh, yeah, you're no welcome. Tom's given me some goodies for James and me and Charlotte. So thank you very much, Tom. Not a bad swap for the fast track for a couple of days. It was only going to be parked in our yard waiting for, some, waiting for summer, so he may as well have made use of it. Yeah, I'm picking up a drum of oil for the 7710, so I thought I'd have a quick mooch round the John Deere dealer's yard because it's pretty damn impressive. These, I think, are all sold. They basically ordered, sold. You just can't really get them in quick enough. Even the second hand stuff's flying out the door. They do look mean. Look at that one there, it's got stainless steel exhaust. Look at that one. 6155R, 615 615R. Must be an option, is it? To have a stainless exhaust. There's another one here with one. It's acres of them, acres of tractors. Looks like someone's got OCD that parks them up as well, or maybe not. Go between the row and you've got even more. I wouldn't know how many tractors are here. But well, there's a lot and they've got five depots and this is the smallest one. It's nuts. So Dusty was gonna tell you all about it, but he's shy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's an 8RX. Well, Jeff, if you want, he'll tell you all no, about it. it's alright, we'll have a look around. So it, but it's not it's not just an eight series with a load of belts under it, it's properly made from the beginning up. So I think 
I think Mr. Ward might have one coming. Look at the size of the steelwork in it. And then look at the, uh, look at that. It's like huge. So these are gonna sort of be a game changer for anyone that has a quad track because they're more efficient and just a bit more usable, but they're obviously, they're not articulated, so they're a bit smaller. Said so they've done, sold quite a few of them. It's obviously been on a demo there and they've put that on and it's twisted it. <laughs> it's a beast though. Don't know what we'd need it for. Would look cool on that plow though, Dusty. <laughs> so is, is that like a, is it made in the Wiedemann? That is the, that, yeah, that is, that is the Wiedemann. Yeah, so it's, we, so you can have it in green, yellow, or red, can't you? Yeah, because it's Wackanoose and Wiedemann or Wiedemann or Kramer. It's like the Mini Merlot. Yeah, then there's a big one. The yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, we had a... We had a, a um, 1245. The yellow one. Uh, the Wackanoose one on demo, and that's why we bought the Mini Merlot, because we, we missed it when it went back. Look at this. It's a dead genuine little tractor. Just needs a new mudguard there, which bolts off dead easily. 6310. Four-wheel drive. Decent tyres as well. I think Sam should have bought it. Even got a passenger seat. It's mint, that. The idea on a topper. Quick pit stop for a meal deal. Up on the tracks and get out of the way. Won't fit on the forecourt in case I wipe the uh, top of the garage out with this top of the silage trailer. I think my face is burning a bit, so I've got this. And I thought it was like a spray bottle, but it's not. It like pops up. But I don't, I don't know if it's going to make my face sticky and dust will stick to it. We'll try it. Mum's got a charity do on at the weekend. She's got like this marquee thing, so we're going to put it up now. It's dead hot, so just put me some cream on. It's taking shape now. It's heavy. What's that, Ian? Is it a pallet? Ian just drove forwards with the pallet in front of the car, not realised, just completely destroyed it and probably got a punch. Two and a half hours, four people. So what's that, ten man hours to put it up? All right, though, I think it's five meters by ten meters. We got some new pins for this because we couldn't find the ones that we'd bought. Anyway, it was cheap, well, not cheaper, but we bought a box of ten because it was far better value than just buying two. So, if anyone wants to buy them, let me know because we've got a load of spare. Anyway, that's all fixed now, welded up as well. New damper in the hitch. I'm in the boiler shed and found this on the floor. Absolutely gone. Which is slightly annoying. I'm sure we did that not that long ago. We've got an ash over jam in here, but we think we've got it out. Piece of metal spanner, is it? I don't know what it is. Try that, mate. There's definitely something inside, but we've overheated the breaker going backwards and forwards, so we'll leave it off overnight and then tomorrow have a look when it's cooled down. It's been pretty good recently, the boiler though. Normally we're like, we're always messing with it, but for the last few weeks, it's been pretty reliable. About well, a few months, to be honest. Unless we're drying grain or wood chip, we don't actually need it. It just provides the hot water at this time of year because no one's using the heating either. Right, this is today's quiz question. So they come in like a little plastic case. It's like a bullet. Take them out and They've got a screw head on them and then thread and like a sealant kind of glue. If you're going to focus. So have a guess what you think they're used for. I've never used them before, but I'm going to try. So, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think it is. I actually don't think anyone will get it right, but have a go. If you think you know, leave a comment below. This is today's birthday bumper. It's got 50th on it as well as a 10 year wedding anniversary as well. So we look like Tom enjoyed using the fast track. Can't wait to see his video, which is coming out, I think, tomorrow afternoon. So if anyone wants to go and watch Tom's channel tomorrow, then you might see this track down. Apparently, it's 
the first cut there was so many different things going wrong and problems that it's a two-part video as well so that'll be interesting to see anyway so give this a wash off tomorrow and it's out delivering wood chip that's about it for today anyway thank you for watching i will see you all tomorrow and we can get that boiler fixed and get some spraying done because i've got a lot of spraying sort of caught up on me now